Um, I watched a short little video, not all of it, but because this is a um, ho, 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 right? Ho, ho, ho. Hostess. Ding dongs. The bells. The steeple. Right. Uh, it's called Ring the Bells and the Balls. No, Ring the Balls and the Bell. Even though it's got an entryway, right? It represents the womb of the goddess, right? So anyway, um, the name of this place was called, or this video on YouTube was called, How Did the Thought of uh, Christmas, but it was spelled C-H-R-I-S-T, M-A-S. Of course, you can break these letters down in energy and vibration. So I remember when I was growing up, it was X Moss. X M A S. X Moss. You know, X sign on the dotted line. X sign to X. X men. Geek squad, Singularity University, NASA, right? Nazi, NASA, right? Death spiral, dead zones, dead pools, dead water worlds, dead water, not living spirit water. So the title of this guy's video was called, How Did the Thought of Christmas Influence Lucifer? Heppy like Iron S. Remember the group called Iron Made N? Influence Lucifer's decision to rebel against God. That channel was called Barrel Aged Faith. So you can imagine how many hits or subscribers, you know, the people are, you know, hey, it's Christmas. I believe in God and in the religion. And you get into all the indoctrination that takes place in religious programming. Right? The Bible is actually what we call an API. Okay. It's a program. Okay. You program that into your memory and your cellular memory. And then if you believe all that, then that's what you're going to experience what's held in memory which means you just created a torsion field movie to put it into your memory, what that story is, bit by bit, bite by bite. Okay. So even though there are words in the English language that are represented by what a living spirit can translate, because they do talk about love your brother and sisters, right? Remember, I think it is in Genesis. I think it's chapter 30. Don't quote me on numbers and dates, please, because I don't live by a date stamp. Okay. Took me about 40 minutes to explain that to a lady who works for EBT. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much informing. Uh, you'd be surprised at some of the conversations that I send all the codes into their computer, right? It's going to take this lady a while to process all those codes, but I guarantee you she'll wake up if she's still got a soul left. It might take her a day or two. I can remember Terrence McKenna said one time when he took DMT, he said, man, I'm still processing that. <laughs> Membranes, memory in a chip. A monopole. I'm a monopole, so it works a little different. Okay, so anyway, um, I, I was going to address this because this is Christmas season, right? The season to be jolly. But you'll notice what Santa wears, right? You think it's a coincidence that uh, they're wearing red and white with a black belt? No. Coming down the chimney. So one of the things that he talked about, and, and it's actually in the words, rebel against God. And naturally, I understood this. Um, and the way that they externalize is if God is something separate but not really separate but as if it's something that's either done to you or against god as if 
there's some separation in your consciousness between being what that is. In other words, it's not like God did this to me. And why isn't God doing this with me? See, that's like God is somewhere out there. No, God isn't somewhere out there. See, I knew as a child, it's right in your heart and soul, which means I was born in heaven. Okay. Heaven lives in my heart because that's my soul, my oversoul. So when I know as a child that I am what love is, it goes on forever, gifting energy, then you know that that's heaven. That's called being one with God's speed. <laughs> love is a vibration. So if you're experiencing the highest intense vibration with an enormous amount of fire, like a blast furnace, that you're wanting to just spread love everywhere that you can, which is known as seeking the pathway, the spiritual pathway known as the right hand pathway, is you're on the right course. You're on the right pathway, which means it's not about money. It's about what love is because love is what's real. So you know that love is a vibration because that's what we experience in vibration. Wow, I'm experiencing God's be. Yeah, so it's within you. You're experiencing being that energy that is God, selfless energy, because you are in love and service as energy that is love energy that you're gifting love. So you're gifting God's energy. So you have to realize when Neo and Trinity came together, when Mr. Smith wanted to keep them separated, doesn't want the electron and the proton, to be together in balance with a neutron, to open a neutron window, Stargate, that is in balance, which means your water worlds are in balance, baby. Between the torque speed differential, between an ascending spiral and a descending spiral, so when the higher octave of the flower is within you, along with the God speed, it is fueling it with an enormous amount of fire, which means you don't ever want to be separated from Eve. That's right. That's androgynous. That means that you represent the highest law because you're experiencing the highest vibration of what it means to be what love is. That means you are what love is. And when you are what love is, that's your identity. That's known as your core, like the core of a planet shield, the core of a shield volcano, like the one I'm on. Okay. That means you represent powerful energy. That's a powerful spirit. That's a powerful soul. So when father and mother are joined as one, you represent the law of one. One law, the law of spheres. Right? Yeah, I know that because that's what I am. I've known that since I was four years old when I had this up and running. So now I'm scanning the field. Now my antenna is aware of the battlefield. So it's always going to be a metric, which is real simple, which is called filtering input. Now you get to decide what it is you're going to put in memory. And when you're a polarity integrator, you realize you got a built-in mathematician with you to keep the poles balanced. Right? So you want to keep the poles balanced between subtraction and addition. All right? What do you want to experience next? Whatever it is, is going to be what love is. So 
Love is everywhere I go. So I realize wherever love is, we are in living spirit. So you know that the spirit is protecting the soul. Yes, that's your shield. That's your mirror. That's our mirror. So the spirit is seeking purification, which is known as a pure heart. Because now you're running the purest of your love energy. So others can experience the purity of your heart. Because the purity of your heart is the purity of your light, which is the purity of your spirit that is protecting your soul. So your soul is running the operating system antenna. So the spirit is powerful energy. So the more powerful your energy, the greater ability that we have to protect our children. Protect the tree of life creation because love is protection of what's known as the tribal shield which is the original template of the 12 by 12 144,000 frequencies of bands headbands like a headset yeah so I knew as a child Stay in your heart. They don't get the heart. They're not going to turn that heart cold. I run a blast furnace. So you realize you're running what's called a frequency modulation. Right? You're running an antenna. So I realize when in Rome you do as the Romans do. So just like they try and infil infiltrate like a Trojan horse and release a mountain of parasites into a living planet chip and the living Mother Earth. Her spirit falls in a negative magnetic space. And you realize the polarity integrator, what my job is. Get it up, mama. Come on, girl. Let's go. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Come on, mama. We got to get it up. We got to get it up. I actually believe that we thought we might have been able to do it in the late 60s. But... What did they do? I call it turning the vice. Increase the density, increase the density. Okay, so now you understand. Seeking the pathway of least electrical density. So all you got to do is watch water run down a mountain and then you get it. Why? It cuts the pathway that it does. Right? And seeking the least pathway, that's which is called the law of least effort. There must be a genius in there somewhere. Oh, no, because what? That genius is actually a mathematician. Right? And a physicist. So now we're into visual information codes. Now you're learning through the visual information how water works. How living water worlds work. The living water worlds that are within us. And when those living water worlds are in perfect balance, which is the center point of a gyrodome, what happens? We're all in balance. And when the water worlds are in balance, what happens? We're in a state of peace. We're experiencing the love of Adam and Eve. Have a beautiful December. See, with me, it's like, this is going to be funny, but uh, somebody asked me, it's just natural. I wake up every morning in a state of love and joy, just like I, I you know, and, unless I've been hit, just that's a whole nother discussion that I've described in many videos. But my normal state, when I get up every single morning, go, wow, the breath of living spirit. Thank you for one more day to spread more love. So even in my childhood, wake up every single day in the state of love and joy, and man, I'm ready to go hit it. Spreading as much love everywhere you go. Right? So I remembered as a child, for example, if all of a sudden I'm not feeling very well, I don't want to go to school. Why? Not because I don't want to be in their school. It's because of the fact that I don't want others to experience the lower energy in me. To heal myself. To get back on my feet. Which means. I want to be able to give you powerful energy. And when my energy's down. I don't want you to experience the energy is down. 
Because then you're going to experience the energy being down in you. And instead of lowering your energy, you want your energy to be high, right? Which is what I am, which is what love is. So now you can measure that, right, as scales. Scales of communication between one battery and another, or one operating system and another. So you understand when you have empathy, which means what I do to you, I do to me. That means how sensitive is your antenna towards everything that's alive and living in nature. Because everything that's alive is a sacred temple. Because we celebrate all life, all living cellular organisms with what love is, because that's what we are. So all the little cells in this body are all experiencing what love is. So every living consciousness cell in my body, every spirit and every element knows how much I love them all. And when you've got all the spirits working and dancing and playing to your music, which is harmony, the harmonics, man on man, you dancing with all the stars, tuned in to all the real stars. Have a great star day on December 25th. Dancing with all the stars on December 25th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great day.